So hey guys, this is Fiora the Tank Girl, and welcome to my show. Uh, tonight I have for you guys the ELC, brought to you by U29, and his platoon mate, ZY Quadruple Zero ZY. As you can see, he's really good in this tank. He has three marks of excellence on his gun, so obviously he knows what he's doing. Now I have a previous ELC video, but it's very poor quality because it's before I had updated software and long before I had the updated hardware. In the meantime... Let's take a look at what U29 has for us. Because this is apparently, according to what I saw on what replays, a really good match. And I, quite frankly, think the ELC is an adorable little tank. It's so cute! And it has a massive 90mm gun. I mean, it only has like 10 millimeters of armor, and it's French, and it has two crew members, so I've actually been crewed in the thing a couple times. But, eh. Hello T67, you don't see me, I'm going to take the time to full zoom, and smack you in the head. Now you may notice my frame rate's down a little bit, whatever World Wargaming did with their update today, um, it ruined their video card optimization, so whatever that tiny update was, they need to go look at it and figure out what the hell they did wrong. I've had frame rate and ping issues all day, and I've even had a couple crashes. Something that hasn't happened in months. Ooh, hello KV1. You're gonna give me your side armor? Okay, smack. <laughs> Nothing like 90 millimeter from a light tank. Especially at tier five. Nobody expects something to have a 90 millimeter gun slinging around shells, but ELC does. Now he's sitting up here looking for sniper shots. Now I would probably think about going in, but considering he's by himself... Ooh, AT, bounce. Considering he's by himself, going in seems like a really imprudent idea. So I'll give it to him, you know, don't go in, don't go rushing in blindly. He's doing it right, he's, he's taking his time, he wants to kind of pick at the enemy a little bit before he goes in. Now his friend... You're in an ELC and you got hit by artillery. He locked target there. Considering how fast the M7 was moving, I think I would have led him manually. Um, it was a good try, but that's the one thing I gotta criticize here. He locked target. Now him saying engaging orbital laser cannon, I'm completely unsure. And the FV does admit it was a luck shot. Okay. Now, I don't know if it's this map, if it's whatever Wargaming did, but my frame rate, 23, 24, 25 frames right now, isn't really cutting it. It may be the Armored Warfare beta on my hard drive may be interfering as well, I'm not sure. Because um, I can't really comment about the game, but I can say that there's a lot of talk on the forums about them doing certain things to make the frame rate better. In the meantime, not that it's a bad game, it's actually kind of wonderfully fun. It's where I've been all day instead of on my live stream. Fiora's been naughty, she's been off her live stream, she's been over playing something else. Well, it's still tanks. Mm. Anyway, already just fired a shot in there, and he's looking for that enemy ELC, and there it is! And shot goes wide. Congratulations, French accuracy. When will their guns ever shoot straight? It's something you should get used to with all the French tanks. They have some of the worst accuracy in the game. Now that shot, I'm willing to bet hit. His team is, however, disintegrating. If he hit that shot on the M7, well, it will be dead now. Hello, little Asian tank. Ugh, and this gun just takes forever to zoom down. It's a really good hit and run weapon, but it's, it's not so much very good at sniping sometimes, especially right now. And he's picking the time to run. And the Wolverine's going, Tog, is your engine broke? Because the Wolverine hasn't left the cap circle. I mean, the Tog hasn't left the cap circle. I will never understand heavy tank players who do not leave the cap circle. Hello, M7. How are you? Kablooey! 
and the ELC's 90 millimeter cannon of doom. Because at tier 5, it really is just a devastating boom. Especially when you see just how little this tank is. You're going to find out just how small this little bitty tank is when he gets up close to an enemy tank in here in a second. I promise you, you're going to see that this is a tiny vehicle. Which, by the way, the driver drives and the commander spots, commands, operates the radio, loads the gun, and aims and fires the gun. Commander's got a lot of things to do in this tank. I don't even know why there's two cupola hatches unless the driver drives from one of them. Up, he sees the barrels go up, and there's the AT. And he gets a flat shot at the side and takes it. Look how small this tank is. The AT-8 is in by no means a very, a, a, a very large vehicle. This thing's tiny! Slap. It does take 11 seconds to load the gun. Uh-oh, he's got problems. He's got multiple guys closing in on him. Oh, that's a nice hit. But it's so small, the SU-85B is having trouble aiming at him. And the Stug-3 comes to his rescue finally. I don't know why the AT-8 disengaged. The TOG is camping base and is incapable of defending base. Poor TOG. Which, by the way, I need to start running my TOG on livestream and get good with it. Actually, I have the gold now. I could make the crew good. Anyway, back to the game. Fiora daydreaming is Fiora daydreaming. He's closing in on this artillery piece. Who knows he's coming? And the flea is like, nope, nope, nope. Well, guess what? Surprise, butt sex! Now, this ELC has to go save the incapable Tog, who is afraid of an enemy ELC, for whatever reason. He zooms, he takes a hit for it, he's going to reposition, hopefully get out of everyone's view range, and then take the shot. Alright, Tog, come on, you're like the light tank killing machine. There goes the dead Hellcat. That ELC's on the other side of the cliff. He's backing up. Uh-oh, this could be this ELC's. Oh! Oh, hello, Ch Ch Cheeto. You're not going to last very long. And, by the way, U-29, you're on your own. The ELC has now made a critical mistake, and he's come out by himself. Oh, if that SU-100 gets him. Oh, what a lucky dodge. And several more rounds impact all around him, but he's still going. Tog, you're not one to talk. Everyone's going to see this on YouTube, and I'm sorry. Oh, he juked him. Oh, oh, boom! Nice job, and the SU-100 does not have the 122 millimeter. And he rushes in against an ELC, he gets too close, and the ELC is now circling. Oh, 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 is he going to cut it close enough? Oh, he got there! He got there! Oh my god, he got behind him! Now he just has to get the gun on him, which since it doesn't have full turret traverse, it's a very hard thing to do. He also can't move off this guy while he's backing up. He doesn't have the engine power. Oh, what's this? Oh, you don't want to get up in a backup race with an ELC. It will win every time. And he breaks away. He knows that that 85 millimeter, however, can one-shot him. Oh no, so the issue was 100 millimeter. Oh, the tree almost cost him. He gets a shot in. He's got to take on two tanks at once. Up, he's putting the SU-100 between him and the enemy, and he kills the turreted tank first, which is what you want to do. Now he's got to get back behind this SU-100 and stay there. I know the KV-1's on the way, too. Oh, my God! What a play! Oh! Oh, what a... Little French tank! ELC into house is right, Tog. Now shut your mouth. You've already offended everyone on my channel. Seriously. I don't see a top tier TD that's dead with no kills. 
And you most certainly have no room to talk because you camped your own base this entire game. The other ELC is so pissed. Up oh, there's the KV-1. He's a one-shot, but so is this ELC. As a matter of fact, this ELC has another problem. He's only got 23 hit points. And a near miss with a high explosive round will kill him. But the KV-1 has a very poor view range and hasn't actually spotted him. KV-1's view range is in the 200s. His ELC's view range is in the th is in the high 300s. So now he's just got to wait. He's got to find a bush that can easily spot this KV-1 when he comes out and just wait him out. Oh. Oh. There it is. KV-1 can't see him from this range. Oh, 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 oh. Is French accuracy going to betray him? No, he gets the kill. Wonderful shot. 15,000 win 8 match if you look up at the top. That's an amazing match. Did an absolutely stupendous job. He took on three tanks at once at one point when you count the SU-85, the 100, and the enemy ELC. And then he took on two tanks at once and managed to pull it out. <sighs> what a great match. Um, my applause to you, U-29. You did an excellent job with your ELC and thank you for showing my viewers how to use this devastatingly fun little French tank. So, if you like what you saw today, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you have a comment about anything I'm doing to tell me I'm doing good, to tell me I need to improve something, to tell me I need to change something, put a comment. If there's a tank you want to see, leave it in the comments section. Let me know what tank you want to see. Um, if you want to see more, subscribe. I post every day. This channel is designed to help new players and to give people who don't play the game but are interested in the game something to spectate with. And hopefully you guys are learning more and more about how to play World of Tanks. And soon I'll be posting Armored Warfare videos as well to help you guys with that game and to help you guys with Armored Warfare. Um, if you want to help the channel grow, share this on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, any other social media site. Hashtag is the Tank Girl. Remember, at 500 subscribers, I'm doing another lottery drawing, which leads me into my last point. If you want to support me, click on an ad while this video is up. When the video ends, there will be another ad that comes up. Click on that ad and let the ad play. That's how YouTube pays people, is you guys clicking on the ads. Every time you guys click on an ad during a video, I get a couple cents. Um, in addition to this, there's a patronage page, which the link is on screen. There's a card with a link to it, and the link is in the description. I'm asking for a dollar a month, and that's it. More importantly, that patronage page dictates the number of people I draw from the lottery when I draw the lottery every month, and the no amount of money that gets dished out to you guys from that lottery. So the more you guys donate, the bigger those pots get. Um, and as soon as we hit a certain point, which I had displayed earlier, I will put it back up when we get to that point. I will actually be going from subscribers, total subscribers, to a monthly drawing for a massive amount for you guys. But that's way down the road. So that's about everything I have to say. Please help me out and support me. The more you guys do, the more I can put up YouTube videos, the more I can live stream for you guys, and the more I can do for you guys because I won't have to do other things in order to keep the roof over my head. Um, I am hopefully going to be on Checkmate. They haven't finished verifying the roster. If not, I will be uh, with Mr. Gordon Freeman, who if you were on the live stream you saw tonight, and I will officially be in the Silver League no matter what. It's now official that that's going to be a thing. So I think that's everything. Let's get on to the stats, but for the moment, this is Fiora the Tank Girl signing out. So, as promised for you guys tonight, here's the stats. Now... Let's see here. High caliber, top gun, and a little ELC. That's kind of amazing. Seven kills, 2,400 effect total damage. I say 2,400, it's 2,398, but still close enough. He did get that other shot. He did not get that sh blind shot on the ELC. Um, but really good, really excellent light tank play, um, I got to say. And also, 2,100 XP with premium. That's not a times two. That is a match. When you pull 2,000 experience points with a single match, that's awesome sauce. Uh, 
Anyway, really, really good game. 19 shots. There's that French inaccuracy kicking in with four misses. The only non-penetration he had, however, remember this is a 90 millimeter gun at tier five. Only non-penetration he had was that AT-8 shot he took in the beginning of the match. Also, look how cheap this tank is to run. He paid more in his consumable resupply than he did in repairs or ammunition. Almost more in his consumable resupply than combined. So, really, really fun, awesome tank. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be signing out for now, and I will see you guys on my live stream later today.